Equation of a line. So our question here says, determine the equation of the line that passes through the points negative 1 and 10 and 2 and 4. And you'll notice up here we have something written down that says y equals mx plus b. And this is the basic equation of a line in something we call slope y-intercept form. So the different letters in the equation all mean different things. The x and the y together represent some point x, y on the line. The m in the equation stands for the slope. Now slope is how steep your line is, how much it's going up by each time, how far over it goes each time. Uh, the formula for slope is delta y, or the change in the y values, divided by delta x, or the change in the x values. Sometimes we also call that rise, and the change in x is we call run. So slope can be found by doing rise over run or delta y over delta x, or there is a formula that we'll talk about in a minute. And then our last letter is the letter B, which is the y-intercept. And a y-intercept is where your line crosses the y-axis. So where your line passes through that vertical y-axis is your y-intercept. So the question says determine the equation of a line that passes through these two points. In order to find the equation, what we need to do is figure out the slope and the y-intercept. And it's easiest to find the slope first and then figure out the y-intercept from there. So if I want to find the slope, there are two different ways to do that. So one of them is by making a table of values calculating the differences and doing delta y over delta x. And the second way of doing it is by using the slope formula, which we'll talk about in a second. So I'm actually going to show you two different ways of calculating the slope. When you're doing a question, you only need to use one method, but I'm going to show you two different ways so that at least you have some idea of how you can do this. So first method is make a table of values. So I'm going to put x in the first column, y in the second column, and I'm going to take the two points that were given in the question and write them into the table. So I'm going to put negative 1 under the x and 10 under the y. And then the second point, 2, 4, I'm going to put 2 under the x and 4 under the y. Now from here, what we do is we calculate the differences. So I ask myself, what did I do to get from a negative 1 to a positive 2. And the answer is I added 3, right? Negative 1 plus 3 gives me 2. And then I look on the other side, what did I do to get from 10 to 4? And the answer is I subtracted 6. 10 take away 6 gives me 4. Now these differences are the change in x and the change in y, or this is delta x and this is delta y. And to calculate slope, we set up here, you can do delta y over delta x, or the change in y over the change in x. So my delta y is negative 6. The delta x is positive 3. Now, I check to see, does negative 6 divide nicely by 3? If it doesn't, I will leave it as a fraction. But in this case, it does actually work out nicely. Negative 6 divided by positive 3 is negative 2. So my slope of this line is negative 2. Now, that was the first way that you could do it. The second way you can find slope is to use the slope formula. So instead of doing the table and the differences, you can use the formula y2 take away y1 over x2 take away x1, right? So we're looking at the differences in the y's, we subtract them, and the differences in the x's, we subtract them. So 
x1 and y1 are just the coordinates of the first point. So x always comes first in a point, and the y always comes second in the point. And then x2 and y2 are just the other point. So the x is the first part of the coordinate, the y is the second part of the coordinate. So what I'm going to do is take those numbers and put them into the formula. So y2 is 4. Take away y1, which is 10. And then x2 is 2. Take away x1. Ooh, that's a negative 1, so I need to put that in a bracket there. So 4 take away 10 is negative 6. 2 take away negative 1. When I have two negative signs in a row, they actually combine to make a positive. So this is going to become 2 plus 1. And 2 plus 1 is 3. So I get negative 6 divided by 3. I feel like we've seen that before. Uh, and then negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Right? So just two different ways of calculating slope. You don't need to use them both in the same question. You need to choose one method and just calculate it the one time. So whatever you like better is fine. So that actually is only the beginning part of the question. So our equation, it said up here, is y equals mx plus b. So I now know that the m is negative 2. So I now know that my equation of the line that we're trying to find is y equals negative 2x plus b. But we still need to try to find the b. Right? How am I going to do that? What we're going to do is take one of the two points from the question and put those in as our x and y so that we can calculate what b is. So I think I'm going to use the second point. It looks a little easier to me, not that it really matters. So I'm going to use 2 and 4. So I'm going to put 2 in for x and 4 in for y. So in place of my y, I'm going to put in a 4. And in place of the x, I'm going to put in 2. So I get 4 equals negative 2 times 2 plus b. I'm going to multiply negative 2 times 2 to get negative 4 plus b. And then all I have to do is solve the equation. If you don't like having the b on the right, flip the equation over. That's OK. Just make sure you leave the order the same on each side. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it in its place. And I'm going to move that negative 4 to the other side by doing the opposite and adding 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So I now know that the slope is negative 2. The y-intercept is positive 8. So I can write my final equation. So I'm going to write therefore, that's what those three little dots stand for. My equation is y equals m, so negative 2, x plus b, which is 8. And that's the equation of a line.